The Scorpius is one of the oldest known constellations in the sky. The facts, information, and myths surrounding this constellation are equally interesting. The Scorpius, also known as the Scorpio, is one of the twelve zodiac constellations known to man. Scorpius is Latin for scorpion. The Scorpius was one of the earliest discovered constellations, believed to be known by the ancient Babylonians. The stars of this constellation look like a giant S in the sky which is believed to be the back or the spine of a scorpion. However, in Chinese culture, it is believed to be the back of a dragon. Constellation Scorpius When talking about the position of this constellation, in simplest terms, it can be said that this constellation lies in between Libra West and Sagittarius East. The sun traverses into the Scorpius constellation for only nine days. From the northern hemisphere, this constellation can be seen close to the horizon, whereas in the southern hemisphere, it is seen high up in the sky. It is believed that earlier, the Scorpio constellation was larger than its present day form. However, the neighboring portion, that represented the claws of the Scorpion, were divided to form the constellation Libra by Julius Caesar. The stars belonging to this constellation are Antares Alpha Sco, Graphias Beta 1 Sco, Chuba Delta Sco, Sargas Theta Sco, Shala Lambda Sco, Jabba Nu Sco, Graphias Xi Sco, Al Nayat Sigma Sco, Al Nayat Tau Sco, and Lasath Upsilon Sco. Interestingly, the astrological constellation of Scorpio differs from the astronomical one. According to astrology, the sun is said to be in the Scorpio sign from the 23rd of October to the 23rd of November. However, according to astronomy, the sun is in this constellation only for nine days, that is from the 23rd of November to the 30th of November. For the remaining time, the sun is in the Aphuchus constellation, which is considered as the only non-zodiacal constellation through which the sun transverses. The mythology related to the constellation Scorpius is quite fascinating. Mythology Although there are several different myths and versions related to the constellation Scorpius, the following is the most popular and believed version. Once Orion, son of Poseidon and Arael, claimed that he was mighty enough to kill all the wild animals on the earth. The Greek gods and goddesses were alarmed by Orion's boast. Secondly, Apollo was also fearful of Orion's love for his sister Artemis. In order to curtail Orion's pursuit, Gaia, the Greek goddess of Earth, sent a mighty and gigantic scorpion to kill Orion. After this, the tale splits into various versions. According to one version, Gaia took pity on Orion and placed him on the opposite side of the Scorpius in the sky so as to prevent the two from combating again. According to the second version, Orion fled from the scorpion by swimming in the sea to see Artemis. Apollo on observing this, challenged Artemis in hunting skills and dared her to shoot the black spot in the sea. Artemis succeeded in doing so, while mistakenly killing Orion. Therefore, the Scorpius constellation rises in the east only when the Orion is seen to set in the west. Scorpio constellation facts the abbreviation for the Scorpius constellation. SCO This constellation is visible between latitudes 40 and minus 90 degrees the brightest star in the constellation of Scorpius, and Teres the fastest known nova is U Scorpi two bright stars, Lambda SCO and Epsilon SCO, appearing at the tail of the constellation are known as cat's eyes constellations are always beautiful to view, and Scorpio is not exception. Now that you have information on this constellation, you might enjoy viewing it more.